I'm Scott from Klaus Team TV, and here are 10 things you didn't know about Mesa. Number 10, Mesa means table. Sure, you probably knew that if you're a Spanish speaker, but the name Mesa means table, and it's a type of geological formation noted for being an elevated but flat-topped hill. When Mormon settlers first arrived to build a settlement in Arizona in 1877, they originally called it Fort Utah, then Jonesville, then Lehigh, and finally the fourth name was the final one, when they relocated up onto a Mesa and changed their name to reflect their position on a flat hill. Mesa was registered as a town site in 1878 and incorporated in 1883, nearly 30 years before Arizona became a state. Number nine, Mesa has quite the history. The Hohokam Indians were the first settlers to the area, but by 1450 AD, they had disappeared without a trace, which is where they got the name Hohokam, which means the departed ones. The canals that were built in the Mesa area by the Hohokam Indians are considered by historians to be the largest and most advanced of the time. Their canals were up to 90 feet wide, 10 feet deep, and extended as far as 16 miles across the desert. And many are still in use today. Number eight, Mesa's water slides are famous. The scenes at the fictional Waterloo in the movie Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure are scenes filmed at Golfland Sunsplash in Mesa. While they used establishing shots of raging waters in San Dimas, California, the bulk of the footage took place at what was then Golfland. In fact, the bulk of the movie was filmed in Mesa, Tempe, and Scottsdale in 1987, over 10 weeks. Number seven, the Mesa Hydration Campaign. It's no secret that Mesa's hot. I mean, it's in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. But with the heat comes a lot of danger for the vulnerable populations of homeless persons in the area. Since 2007, the city has partnered with community groups and local businesses to collect bottled water to give away to keep people hydrated. In 2022, Mesa residents donated more than 773,000 bottles of water to help the homeless during the summer enough water to fill more than seven average-sized swimming pools. Since the campaign began, residents have donated more than 5.2 million bottles of water, which is the equivalent of a community water storage tank. Number six, Mesa is home to the world's biggest organ. You can hear the world's largest Wurlitzer pipe organ at Organ Stop Pizza. Celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2022, Organ Stop's Mighty Wurlitzer is the largest and finest theater organ in the world today. Organ Stop Pizza attracts hundreds of thousands of patrons each year with its theatrical performances complete with dancing cat puppets, a disco ball, and bubbles. Songs range from classical music and Disney favorites to pop and rock hits. This video is brought to you by Klaus Team Real Estate Solutions. The Klaus Team is different. With the Klaus Team, you have someone on your side. Where you live and make memories is important. We have more unique strategies than anyone else to help you accomplish what matters most to you. We can help you with traditional real estate as well as other options such as our lease purchase programs. We can help you buy first then sell and we can bring you instant offers. We're here to help our neighbors achieve the American dream and help them build wealth through home ownership. For more info or to start your home search, visit us online at klausteam.com. Number five, spring training. Since 1952, Mesa has hosted the Chicago Cubs for spring training baseball. In 2014, the Cubs moved into the recently constructed Sloan Park, where they continue to lead Major League Baseball in spring training and attendance, averaging nearly 14,000 fans per game. The Oakland A's also call Mesa home for spring training, playing at the recently renovated Hohokam Stadium. The Phoenix Mesa metro area is home to a large number of teams playing in the Cactus League, providing fans with some of the best spring training baseball in the nation. Number four, Mesa's got culture. Mesa is home to Mesa Arts Center, the Southwest's largest urban art and entertainment campus, featuring 14 artist studios, five galleries, and four theaters on seven acres. Mesa also has some amazing museums, including the Idea Museum, which is the first museum dedicated to youth and art in the United States, and the Arizona Museum of Natural History, the state's largest repository for fossils that's found in the Southwest. Number three, aviation is big in Mesa. With the sunny and dry climate in Mesa, there is on average 301 sunny days a year which is great for aviators that are learning their craft, is 83% of the year qualifies as flying under visual flight rules. It's an earlier certification prior to flying by instruments. As a result, 
There are numerous flight schools. However, it runs deeper than that. Boeing builds one of the world's most powerful and famous military rotorcraft here, the AH-64 Apache helicopter. Primarily used by the U.S. Army, the Apache is also the primary attack helicopter of other nations, including Greece, Japan, Israel, and UAE. The Apache has served in Panama, the Gulf War, Kosovo, and in Iraq and Afghanistan during the War on Terror. In addition, Mesa is also home to MD Helicopters, which produces the popular MD-500. Not surprisingly, the Mesa Police Department uses MD-500s as their air units. Mesa is home to two airports, Falcon Field, which is adjacent to MD Helicopters and Boeing. Falcon Field is the eighth busiest general aviation airport in the United States, just behind Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, also in Mesa, which is the seventh busiest general aviation airport in the United States. PMGA is the former Williams Air Force Base and has been redeveloped to include commercial travel on Allegiant Airlines, as well as being a host to repair facilities for nearly every private jet manufacturer, including facilities for Gulfstream and Cessna Citation. PMGA is unique in that it hosts Skybridge, where both U.S. Customs Officers and Mexican Customs Officers work side-by-side -side in the world's first U.S.-Mexico joint cargo hub. Number two, Mesa is the cloud. Southeast Mesa has become home to numerous cloud data centers along the Elliott Tech Corridor, including the $2 billion Apple facility, the new Facebook slash Meta Mesa data center, which will be over 2.5 million square feet, and other data centers with a massive facility for Google in the plans as well. If you're saving something to the cloud, chances are it's in Mesa. And number one, Mesa is bigger than you think. Mesa is not only the largest suburb in the United States, it's the 37th largest city in the U.S. and the largest city in the U.S. that's not a county seat. With over 500,000 residents, it is more populous than Minneapolis, St. Louis, Miami, and Atlanta. And those are the 10 things you might not have known about Mesa, Arizona. We encourage you to subscribe to Klaus Team TV for all things relative to Mesa real estate and living in the Southeast Valley.